and unfortunately we'll probably have to come back again and again until these people are freed and human rights is respected in the Philippines. We've come because we believe these charges against the Toro Campo and others are fabricated. Why do we think we're fabricated? Because of the timing. It's quite coincidental that he has been arrested during the election campaign for the May 14th election. It appears that the Philippine government is afraid of Satura Campo and the people that he represents, which is basically the grassroots people of the Philippines. We also believe that if this can happen to Satura Campo, Crispin Beltran, and other prominent people, it can happen to any Filipino anywhere in the Philippines. And thus we are coming to Gay to also protest on behalf of all Filipino people and their rights. We have concern for Satura Campo because he's in detention as we stand here today. We have concern that he will be tortured. We have concern that he may even be killed, supposedly by, I'm presuming by inmates in the prison that will look like someone killed him in prison and the government can easily wash its hands of his murder. So thus we come today to protest the arrest of Satura Campo and say, Free Satura Campo now! Free Satura Campo now! Free a Campo now! Free from the Migrant Workers Organization in Hong Kong, may I call on the uh, chairperson of the United Filipinos in Hong Kong to express the uh, opposition and the uh, uh, protest of uh, migrant work Filipino migrant workers in Hong Kong against the ongoing human rights violations in the Philippines. May I call on Ms. Dolores Valladares. Ni Crispin Beltran na mahigit ng isang taon na kakuno. 
ng sakulungan. Kahit na may sakit, walang pakundangan na ikinukulong doon. Yan po ay ginagawa nila dahil nais ng gobyerno na patahimikin tayo. Nais ng gobyerno na bawasan ang mga mambabatas, ang mga kongresista na ang ninanais lamang ay magsilbi sa bayan. Na ang ninanais lamang ay tulungan ang mga mahihirap. Yan ang klase ng gobyerno na mayroon ang Pilipinas. Yan ang klase ng gobyerno na nananatili sa atin sa Pilipinas. Kaya po mga kababayan, kaya po nating magpasya. Kaya po nating magdesisyon. Ngayon po darating ang halalan kung ninanais ng gobyerno ni Gloria Macapagal Arroyo na tayo ay huwag manatili o makapasok muli sa Kongreso. Bibiguin po natin sila. Bibiguin natin sila sapagkat tayong mga migrante, tayo at ang ating mga pamilya ay susuportahan, iboboto ang mga kongresistang ito na siyang nagtataguyod ng interes ng mga migrante at ng ating pamilya. Hindi natin hahayaan na magpatuloy ang karahasan, ang panggigipit na ginagawa ng gobyerno ni Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Aasahan po natin at ipapanawagan natin sa ating mga pamilya na babaha sa kalsada ang libo-libong mamamayang Pilipino kasama ang pamilya ng migrante para tutunan ang karahasan, tutunan ang terorismo na ginagawa ng gobyerno ni Gloria Macapagal Arroyo sa mga Pilipino. Yan po ang aming ipinapabot, yan po ang sigaw ng mga migrante at ng aming pamilya. from a human rights advocate how in the Philippines there is a total disregard in the rule of law. We have heard from a fellow legislator how this government have tried everything to prevent an elected uh, government official, an elected legislator of the people to curtail its rights and to prevent it from representing the marginalized sector in the Philippines. We have heard from fellow trade unionists how the workers' voices are actually being curtailed by arresting, by detaining workers' representatives like Crispin Beltran and Congressman Saturo Campo. And we have heard the migrants' voice, how our representatives, there are actually very few of them, only some from this progressive party list who are genuinely representing the interest of migrant workers. And now, one by one, they're being arrested. There's also an impending arrest warrant for the charges of rebellion against Congressman, uh, Congresswoman Lisa Massa, Congressman Teddy Casino, Congressman uh, Mariano, and uh, Congressman Virador. So, in fact, this government is trying to arrest all the representatives of progressive party list, elected members of the House of Representatives, unlike President Arroyo, who's cheated her way to the presidency. So today we are here again to reiterate our call to the Philippine government to respect 
and to uphold the rule of law, to respect human rights, to stop this political intimidation and harassment against the progressive party lists and organizations, its officers, its representatives, and the Philippine consulate. This is an open statement from the parliamentarians and friends of Saturo Campo in the international community. I would like to read from different countries express great concern and great great alarm over the arrest of Representative Saturo Campo, Deputy Minority Leader of the House of Representatives, who is currently campaigning for re-election under the opposition party, Bayan Muna, or People First Party. We fail to comprehend why a warrant of arrest was issued based on a criminal case for murder committed 22 years ago at the time when Satur was in prison during the martial law regime of President Ferdinand Marcos. We are also concerned why a 22-year-old case was resurrected during the campaign period at the time when Satur, a staunch critic of the government, is heading the campaign of his party for re-election. We are alarmed that Satur is not granted at least his right to bail since it is improbable that the evidence of his guilt is strong, considering that the crime imputed is more than two decades old. We are aware of the escalating political killings in the Philippines, targeting members of the opposition parties and government critics. We were also informed of escalating harassment against them during the election period, and we would like to ex express our belief that opposition parties, including their leaders, must be allowed to campaign freely during the campaign period. We express our deepest concern over these developments and urge the Philippine government to respect Satur's rights to due process. We urge the speedy release of Saturo Campo from prison and that he and his party and all opposition parties, for that matter, be allowed to freely campaign. We call for a stop to the political killings and human rights violations in the Philippines. Signed by the different uh, human rights organizations, trade uh, student uh, organizations as well. So I would like to call on our uh, friends to assist me in uh, submitting this uh, joint statement to the representative of the Philippine government. I would like to thank our uh, friends from uh, the different organizations in Hong Kong. We have shown a very strong uh, 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 front here today. All those who have supported uh, the, uh, the protest today is actually expressing support to the Filipino people fighting for justice, fighting against human rights violation. So thank you very much. And I uh, would like to also thank the uh, members of the press